Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia. Last time we got a few more ingredients for our special coffee, our espresso, got the stimulant, got uh, uh, that uh, red hot chili pepper, nice. Now let's talk to Wenzel a little bit, see if we can convince him to make to take his turn so that we can go next to see the mayor about letting go live with us. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you, by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. Kinda it's all it. right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number. But then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance. But like this. Well, they're not going to take the next person until you go, so, uh, skedaddle. Vamos, go. Oh, he's not gonna move. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only <laughs> thing in there was this weird stick. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvak's built on with this very rod. Yeah, well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Maybe you can help me organize a few things. Again? You haven't even returned my lawnmower yet. Oh, yes, the lawnmower. You'd better get a new one. The old one had lousy aerodynamics. <laughs> What is it this time? They don't even have any lawns around here. Do you have any idea where I can get a stimulant? Have you asked Dr. Gizmo? Oh, yeah. He did say something along those lines. I'm sure he must have something in his office. Good thing that I have such a phenomenal memory. I, I wouldn't have come to that conclusion it. otherwise. So it's sometimes the dialogue options will like be way down here instead of like fitting in the box like they should, but oh well. It usually doesn't cause a problem. Do you have any idea where I can get some blackish powder? Black powder? No idea. Aren't you the expert concerning all things explosive? After all, every other invention of yours blows up. Which at the same time means that every first one doesn't. Ah. Hmm. So we still have, don't have black powder and clear water. Where are we going to get that? Do you have any idea where I can get clear water? Clear water? Pfft. That stuff only exists in legends. So what? My whole project is legendary. <laughs> Legend has it that your father once found clear water. That's how he got to be mayor of Kuvak. They say that there are still a few bottles hidden away in the town hall. That's my old man, all right. He left Deponia, but instead of bequeathing me his fortune, he hid it. At least he left you the divining rod. Maybe it is possible to find some water with it. <laughs> Dream on. So, legend has it that Clearwater is hidden in the town hall. Make a note of that, and we could probably use the divining rod to find it. Do you have any idea where I can get revitalizing fluid? I once heard that it is supposed to be revitalizing to drink the blood of a bull. You believe everything people tell you, don't you? Like I'll get back the money that I loaned you? Exactly. <laughs> Well, there was that mechanical bull out there. I wonder if uh, we can use that somehow. Do you have any idea where I can get energy-rich water? Energy-rich water? What's that supposed to be? The only energy I know of is in the car batteries you find in the trash heaps everywhere. Yeah, well, I should have guessed that you can't give much useful information concerning energy, lazy bum. <laughs> so, we kind of have an idea where to find everything we still don't have. I think I'd better do this myself. Let's be honest, you were never a big help anyway. Whatever you say. 
<laughs> Never a big help. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't get it? Not a big help. Because you're small. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Later. Exactly. Okay, so that's our conversation with Wenzel. Let's see what's around here. Not much except for him and the divining hey, rod. that's my dad's divining rod. Let's grab Don't it. even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. Hmm. And once I'm rich... We'll split 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. Shoot. Okay. Let's go in his bathroom. What do we have in here? Furnace. And can't do anything with that. Okay. Sponge. He's bloated, he's useless, and he has a sponge in his kitchen. Rabbit. And nothing else in here. Oh well, we have a sponge. Which we will need. How about in his basement? Anything useful in here? There's a pipe. If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now. Hmm. All right. Which is funny because the shower is actually right here, but uh, we'll get to that later. All right, nothing much to do in there. All we got was a freaking sponge. See, where else can we go? Have we been over here yet? Oh yeah, that's Tony's house. Tony's shop. Hmm. Oh, I know where I should go next. So about that pool of blood. There's the wall right there, but uh, it doesn't really seem to uh, be given anything off. Hmm. What if we try to get some blood from it? If I were in search of some phlegm, I'd go and take Wenzel's blood. Maybe we can get this bull a little bit excited. We have... Oh, wait, let's not use that. We have... Hmm, a sign with a female bull winking. Ah! Ah-ha! Uh -huh. Brilliant idea, Rufus! What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of gnat's piss? Okay, close. I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. I can still hear Tony's laughter. I'll never try riding a bull in love ever again. That's below my class. So, still not enough, but now we have this red curtain. And as we know, bulls don't like the color red. Actually, that's not true. Bulls are colorblind. Red is just a traditional color that Toriadors use. And what bulls rush at is the emotion. Fun fact for today. Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. <laughs> I said Toriador, Matador, same thing. Because Toro means bull in Spanish, Toriador is like a bullfighter. Matador actually means killer. All right, we'll get right this thing <laughs> and land in cactus, cacti. One more time. <laughs> oh well. What we really want is the blood. So let's get the blood. Draw blood from an enraged bull. <laughs> Child's play. Not <laughs> you. blood. Check. Got it. So that is our revitalizing water. Let's see what we have left. 
so check on revitalizing water, check on chili pepper, check on uh, stimulants. Still need black powder, energy rich water, and clear water. Hmm. Well, let's see. I bet there's a battery in that car. Wonder if we wash the windshield off, we can get the name. Well, this alone won't do for mopping. I also need, well, to be in the mood. And soap. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, then. Let's see, what else can we do? I'm kind of lost. I don't want to do something with that pipe. What? See, let's see, let's see. Have a scalpel, have a drill. Seriously, kind of uh, <laughs> at a loss. I did figure this out by myself before, but uh, I took a bit of wandering around. Hmm. Let's go back into Tony's shop. See what we have here. Uh, nothing. I'll search around for a bit and let you know. Okay, that's what I thought. There are actually a few things up here in uh, Tony's backyard. I also got a balloon from the town hall where our goal is. But okay, yeah, we, I guess we left this torch here. Let's grab that. We have this dud that didn't work. I guess that didn't blow us up. And a funnel. Hmm. Well, if we want black powder... I'm betting we can get it from this. Oh, we can just light it on fire. Never! My inventory could burn! And Tony is not gonna... Alright. If we use this on that... Never! Okay. And Tony... Well, to get the black powder, we have a dissector scalpel. We could slice that puppy open. Well, there we go! Black powder! Nice. Huh. Blackish powder. <laughs> Alright. Now, back in Tony's house, I'm betting, since we still have that on the pot, <laughs> oh man, that's a, that's, a li that's, a, that's a hazard right there, but we could probably dip the sponge in the watery detergent stuff. I don't like the direction this is taking at all. <laughs> Ouch! That's hot! Well, I oh. think that's all. Should be enough. Oh, we have it. All right. We now have a wet sponge. Now back to the car. Which is... Over here. So. Wash this off. Get that name. Ugh. Is this really necessary? I know, doing labor is sucks, but hey, it's not that hard. Alright, so let's take a look. The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. 
I just want to take one more look at it because what he says is important. The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. Tasteless pink leatherette. A is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's Ballet sign puppet. it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> the name is Sugar Puff. All right. So let's go talk to uh, the key guy, because he will hopefully have that key we are looking for. What's up, bro? Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. <laughs> About my key again. Again? Well, if you insist, what was your name again? Ah, uh, Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff. But <laughs> I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? That, of course, would be pink. That's why it's important to uh, note what he noted. Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And uh, do you have a special hobby? <laughs> Listening to music, devising plans how to escape from here. I read a lot. Ballet. I uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine. <laughs> so? Aha, he gave us the key. This is Sugar Puff's key, not mine. <laughs> if you talk to him Hello again. again. Hey, hello, Sugar Puff. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> uh, talk to you later. Bye, Sugar Puff. So you have no problem remembering that name. <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, we have Sugar Puff's key. So we can now open up the car. All right. The truck. As long as it's been sitting there anyway. All right. Pull this lever. Get to the hood. So much power in such a junk heap. What a waste. Let's take the battery. <laughs> oh, I can't remove it. Oh, but yeah, how do right. I get access to the power that's harbored within them? Car batteries are heavy. Well, let's use our handy dandy drill. I said, let's use our handy dandy drill. I want the battery acid, and I have a dip. Oh, I can't remove it. Okay, but how do I get access to the power that's harbored? Ah, ow! <laughs> yeah, ow! Yeah, for some reason, the dialogue weirded out. I didn't do anything, but all right, let's get some of this battery I acid. Take that. Ah, <laughs> but not with bare hands. And yeah, don't worry, that acid will never run out. It will just keep pouring like that. But we do not have a good container to put it in. Shoot! What shall we do? I know there's something I should be doing. Up there. Let's see, I have a balloon. How do I... Oh, I know. Okay, I remember. I remember. I still don't have everything, do I? Shoot. Okay, never mind. Let's go back into the Tony shop because I think I remember what we're supposed to do here. What was that again about the gift vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. And no, you can't have them as a gift. Then why are they called gift vouchers? Hmm. I need something. If there's nothing. No. And start earning your. I've got to go. <sighs> but here you.
Maybe we could just try to grab hey, a voucher. Hey, stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you going to pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough that I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Ah, uh, that's what I wanted her Breathe to do. In. Breathe out. So, now that she's meditating, let's go grab a hook. Ah, ouch! Hey! Oh, jeez, that looked um, painful. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she seems to be laughing at the fact that we just hurt ourselves ouch, really bad. Look at that! Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure. That is to say, wait a minute. You dirty rat. Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please, I'm bleeding to death here. If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. All right, we finally got it. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. So yeah, I had to get her to meditate, and I forgot that you actually have to try to take a voucher before she'll do it. But you can't actually take a voucher while she's meditating, because she'll tell you to not touch them still. So we got the key to the first aid kit, finally. Let's go crack that puppy open. Oh, not here. Here we go. Yeah, I'm at the, that kind of that part of this the section of you know adventure games where you're like, I've done almost everything, but I forget one thing that I'm missing to finally complete everything. Yeah, because there's usually just one little thing that kind of leads to you know a chain of events that gets you everything else you need as well. What happens if we try to lo lock pick this thing? Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. What? Not even with this? What kind of a lockpick is this? Yeah, that's what I thought. Doesn't work. That's why we need the key. And what do we have? Tranquilizer. Tony's tranquilizer. Dr. Gizmo says it deals with the symptoms, not the cause. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by that. So we had tranquilizer. Oh, we also did get ourselves a hook. Make a note of that. But what can we do with this tranquilizer? How can we have some fun? Well, you just got to find out next time on Let's Play Deponia. Thank you for watching and have a good day.